Amanda Muggleton's back in Perth for another month and she's got a fantastic play called The Book Club. We're talking to her here at the Subiaco Arts Centre, the first leg of her tour around Western Australia. Welcome back to the couch. Thank you, Fred. Now, it's wonderful to be here. I'm really amazed uh, that we got the opportunity to see your play tonight and uh, I have to say, very, very good. Oh, thank you. Thank what you. brings you back to WA? Because you're constantly coming back to Perth. I don't know, I've, I've, I feel very at home here and I've now got so many fantastic friends here and this theatre, I know this theatre as the Hole in the Wall Theatre. I can't call it the Subiaco Arts Centre. To me it's where I started my whole affair to remember with Perth because this was the Hole in the Wall and this is where I first did Shirley Valentine. Do you still get amazed after all these years of being such a fantastic actress? You come out to Perth, you get a full crowd here tonight, they're cheering you on, you still got it? Got, you mean it? It. <laughs> if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be doing Some would it. say you probably get it in the play as well. <laughs> I do. Quite a few times. There's a wonderful bonking scene, isn't there? Tell me in about this play. The, the book club. It's been rewritten. Yes, it was written by Roger Hall originally, who's a New Zealand playwright. Um, and I did the original one way back in 98, 99, something like that. Um, and what what we realised uh, when we decided to do it again is that it needed bringing up to date because back then, it seems funny to say it, but we weren't reading books on Kindles and there weren't so many mobile phones the going technology on. Technology was Technology ha has really changed. And so Rodney Fisher, who along with Raymond Omadai, mm -hmm. is the two of my favourite uh, directors who lives here, Raymond Omadai. But Rodney Fisher, I said I want Rodney to direct me in it and he said he would only do it if he could bring it up to date because being the book club, we mm -hmm. discuss books that people are reading right now. And of course, when I first did it, we were doing books like Captain Corelli's Mandolin and Wild Swans. And so you can't keep having the same books because the as you saw changes. tonight, there's obviously a lot of book clubs here. And as soon as I mention the slap and march and Fifty Shades of Grey. They all, you all know that they've been reading them because it's recent. What attracted you to this role? Because I'd say you get offered a lot of work. Why this I one? do. Well, I actually, you know, I don't like doing too many one-woman shows because it's really hard work. I know I make it look very easy, but you, are, I get very lonely. I'm so alone, Fred. You're lucky you're with me today. <laughs> with you. No, but I do, I get lonely mm. and I insisted that Jenny Poe was my stage manager because Jenny toured with me all those mm. years that I was doing Shirley Valentine and I need a friend with me. I need someone who knows my whims and my naughty ways. There's, yeah. there's some amazing characters that you play I in know, the play. I know, I play. Can you go through some of them, maybe give me well, a little bit of each Meredith. Of Meredith, you know, is on the committee for the fundraising of the opera. Company. She she's from a, Vaucluse. She's from Vaucluse in Sydney and has a very deep, rich voice. And she thinks she knows more than anybody else. She has a cleaning lady called Bruce, mm. and her husband is the leading skin specialist, the great god Desmond. Then we've got Trish. Mm -hmm. Trish is the bossy boots of the, the whole group. She's the one that's organised the whole club mm. right from the word go. And she's a terrific cook and she's always trying to outdo everybody else with her cooking and she usually does. And then we've got Millie. Millie's from Wales. Oh, well, I never, what do you think I did? Come in here tonight. I turned right at the railway station instead of left. I never done that before in my life, but here I am, so there's lovely. And one of my favourite ones, was the Steffi. Uh, Steffi was probably the, the well, Steffi was born Austrian? in Switzerland. No, she's German. Yeah, oh, she's sort of German. Swiss German. Jawohl. And she was born in Switzerland and she's um, always on the lookout for a man and she's, she's always going on about, you know, oh Deborah, what do you think? I met a man in Vulvats. Oh, our trolleys they collide. Boom. <laughs> Mmm, he's very attractive, got a good job, good education, and he's not gay. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, you're thinking he must be married. And what about Michael, the guy that you oh, fall in love with? Well, Michael Gordon is the writer that I invite mm. to my book club because he's a local Australian writer. And of course, Deborah's character has always yearned to have an affair, only fantasy-wise, mm. with a writer. And of course, little does she know that she invites this writer to her house and all the women are a bit, you know, mm, 
a writer in their midst, a man, and they're all sort of, lots of them are after him. And who ends up with him? <laughs> Deborah. There's a lot of storylines going on, mm. but mm. if I add them all together, it creates a very normal life. So it most is. of us in the audience That's could associate That's why they to like it. it. That's why the GP audiences, it. but also the people who do read books appreciate it too, because I do talk about Anna Karenina and Madame Bovary, but it is not an intellectual night in the theatre. It's, it's very far current. from that. I love the way you add in the current things. Yes. I mean, I, I will say I laughed when you were in the hotel and the, the knock at the door. Oh, yes. The lady, yes. the room service yes. lady, that was a perfect Yeah, um, well, that, that is one of my lines. That I was think that's a, very funny. That was an ad lib. <laughs> Can you I, do that live for me? The knock at the door, <laughs> you've just got up in the morning. We, we've there. just finished making love, actually, and then there's a... It passed checkout time, you get out now. <laughs> <laughs> the play moves on from here, from Perth, it goes yes, to Kalamunda. Yes, we're going to Kalamunda, Mandurah, Thornley, Thornley, Don Russell. Yep. I always want to call it Black Rock, but it's Bruce, Bruce Rock. Bruce Rock, and then it goes, you and go then down to Albany. Albany, and then we come back to back Perth. Out. Does your show go to all those it, places? It does, nationally on Foxtel, so oh, we're very lucky I'm that we can so promote it for you. Because I, I, want, I want the people around Bruce Rock to come, because what happens with this play mm -hmm. is that they, they hear about a play, but they don't book. And then they, they hear about it when I've gone, and then they all start ringing oh, up saying, oh, I want to pick tickets for the book club. And they say, no, sorry, you missed it. And, gone. Yeah, so because I've only got one show there, and I want, I want those people from the rural areas to all get in their cars and come and have fun with me, have a drink with me after the well, show. Love the show. I want other people to go out and watch it as well. Do you want to just look into that camera and tell them why they need to come and watch? Because I'm brilliant, I'm fantastic and I'll make you laugh and I hope I make you cry a bit too, but always leave you laughing. Amanda Muggleton, The Book Club, please check it out all around Western Australia and uh, don't miss it because it's, it's on our website, thecouch.com.au for tickets. Follow the link and you'll be able to buy them and they're very cheap and worth a look. Thank you. Did Bobby. I really just say I'm because I'm brilliant? You, you did, but you are. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. When are you going to start singing? It. I'm doing Blood Brothers straight, straight, mm. straight, straight after this in Brisbane. I've got another chance to do it because you know I did yes. it here 18 months ago and I'm so excited that I've got a, another chance to do it. But this it's is, Brisbane, it's not in Perth. This so. is turning into a breakfast show. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda. Nice to have you on the Great couch and you. always nice to catch up with you. Thank you, Fred. Bye-bye.